9 forecast. It is a first alert weather day on this Monday. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Many of you are waking up to at least a coat of snow. Jacob in Sandersville, Green County is showing the vehicle covered in about a half inch of snowfall. It's light. It's a wet type of snow with temperatures right around freezing. Keep those pictures coming. The easiest way to get them to us is through the Storm Team 29 weather app. So if you see it, snap it and send them our way. Some additional snowfall out here. We're watching natural snow for a change. Over at the top of the Wintergreen Resort, where they're able to make snow and they're seeing some snowfall currently. And you may end up with a total of four inches by this time tomorrow morning across the Blue Ridge Mountains for sure. Storm Team 29's live Doppler Radar Network is showing a broken area of snow. It's light. We're seeing some flurry. Some of the snow is actually under the radar beam because the snow is low in the atmosphere. There's some flurries and snow showers, Green Madison into areas of Louisa, Fluvanna, and Buckingham County. And we're seeing some light snow showers and flurries along the Route 29 corridor. There's Airport Road at Route 29. The main roadway looks wet. They've been treated The temperatures are right around freezing, so salt is able to work and we're watching some flurries and snow showers. Culpepper Madison over into Greene County and there's a live view from the VDOT camera into the Shenandoah Valley I-81 near the Stanton vicinity. You'll notice a grassy coat of snow. Watch those elevated untreated surfaces at least for the next couple of hours uh, with temperatures right around there a little bit below freezing. Now we're watching a bit of a break to the southwest, so we're going to see perhaps a lull in that steadier snowfall before it begins to pick back up later on today. But behind this system, look at all that cold, frigid air. It is Arctic to the north and west with well below zero temperatures across the heartland and the upper plain states. Winter weather advisory officially for the entire area through about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning for some light accumulation and some slick roadways. High res weather tracker shows this first batch of snow moving on through. In fact, it's coming in a couple of pieces. Originally, it looked like the snow would hold off until the end of the day, but it, we were seeing the snow come on in earlier because of this uh, system kind of uh, moving in a little bit faster with the jet stream winds. There's this evening overnight some additional light snow daybreak on Tuesday, but steady snow is moving away. A lingering flurry or snow shower at daybreak and all told it looks like we'll see some appreciable snow, especially for the higher elevations. Now this morning snow grassy coat inch or two and then a lull before another round of snow arrives later on this evening later today into this evening, and then we'll watch the snow begin to move away. So the, the total snow with the system will be two to three with locally four inches. Your forecast for today, light snow, Highs will be in the low to mid 30s tonight. More snow with an additional uh, inch or two in the accumulation. Watch for slick roadways, but not terribly cold, so salt will work, especially on those main roadways. Highs tomorrow in the 30s, but the wind chill will make it feel like it's in the teens with any snow shower in the morning moving away. Now, looking at the wind chill, the feel like temperature on Wednesday at midday will be near or below zero in the valley and single numbers over central Virginia. So those are the numbers you need to dress for. Winter weather alert. First, first alert weather day today and tomorrow because of the snow and the cold. And then on Wednesday, it looks to be the coldest of the work and school week. Overnight low, single numbers and teens by Wednesday morning. And then we'll see a little break on Thursday, mostly cloudy skies, low 40s. Maybe some morning snow showers as we head into Friday morning. And then the weekend is going to be another Arctic-like weekend. Highs barely above freezing and overnight lows in the single numbers and teens.